Hank, tell them what we're using today. Um, right here in the in the creek, we're gonna be using a little wacky rig, Cinco and a square bill. Yep. We both have those tied on. Yep, just different colors. Yeah. Because we don't want to be exactly alike, because I don't like him anymore. So we'll see how it works. Yeah. Oh, there goes my wacky rig. Oh, okay. oh it's a fish, dude. Hank's got one. Hank's got one. Oh my gosh! Hank caught a bluegill on a crankbait, dude. Oh my gosh! Holy! Don't let it fall! Don't let it fall! Move it! Move it! Move it! Bluegill! That's what hit mine a minute ago. Did it blow up on it? Did it blow up on it? This is probably the biggest. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at this mouth. He's probably got eight or something. Herpes. It is. Well, it is the Pigeon River. I'm not kidding at all. Oh gosh! Disgusting. Mm Mm-hmm. Hank. That fish There's is blue. Such a up. big bluegill. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna get a picture. Get a picture yeah. yeah, let's get a picture of this messed it, up bluegill. It hit the crankbait while it was floating on the surface. Honestly, this thing might be better off dead. You wanna put him back? Or do you wanna get him? Yeah, just put him back. Okay, there he goes. Jeez, dude. Dang, is that that was bigger than Caden's bluegill even. I'll, that was sick. That was don't... sick. How did it get that in his mouth? Just because it was so big? Look how big the hooks are too. Like yeah. the hook was Oh, explain what that is. Like what crankbait that is. I don't know. It's a Storm Arashi crankbait in a bluegill pattern. So that thing and was that a bluegill. Hit it. it was a cannibal. See, I've got this screwed up Strike and that King. Was right over next to that. I told you he didn't believe me because I told him something like boiled on my crankbait. While it was floating. Yeah. And then something crushed mine. Well, something. That bluegill just crushed it. And I was reeling it in, and it felt like just dead weight. Well, I mean, it probably was about to die anyway. No pun intended. If you get another one like that, it would be insane. You got ready? Right out there. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. Honestly, we have not seen a bass this entire time. Is it? Oh, no. What in the heck is that? Is that weed eater string? Oh, no, I need this. What is that? I need it. Oh, ew, Hank, you're walking out in the creek. Yeah, that was that tall. Oh, I got it. There's a fish on the end of it, though. I think so. Wait, 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 wait. Get it, wait, get wait. it. Just walk out there and get it. Walk, no, walk out there and get it. There's a fish on the end of it, I think. There you go. Oh, gosh, hold on. Go on, go on. Is there a fish on the end of that, or is it just stuck? All right, pull that in. Oh, jeez. Oh. Is that a fish? Hey, can you hold this? Yeah. It pull is. That. It's a big... Carp? There's no way. No, that's not a... Oh, gosh. It's jagged. Oh, it was probably just, like, pulling something big in. Let's see what's on the end of that. Dude, I want a cast net. Cast net? I want a cast oh, net. Oh, you want a cast net? Oh, like... there's something else. But I feel like there might be something on the end because it keeps getting stuck on stuff. Like a hook? How heavy is that? Like, like giant catfish line? Like a hook. Oh my gosh. Somebody has catfishing or cart fishing with a treble with, hook. With a treble hook. But people That's... stink, dude. Why would they leave that in there? Because it probably broke off. What line is that? <laughs> oh, that's mono. Yeah, that's like. What is it? Looks that, like, like weed eater string. I'm just. Here, here's your crankbait. Okay, I'm glad we were filming for that. I got it right after he did. What if that was attached to a giant carp? Oh, gosh. Dude, that would have been the, the hook sickest out. video ever. Strike King. It's best crankbaits out there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You can't tell we have a little beef with Strike King crankbaits. Because they suck, okay? No. Oh, look at that. See? That's what, exactly that's why. That's why they suck. Yep. That's why we don't like them. Yes. And I got our one of our only good crankbaits stuck in a tree. It was a river to see. This is the other good one. As you can tell, it catches monster blues. Yep. Bluegills. I was going to say, it sounds like you're catching bluefish in the ocean from the surf. Okay, that was so ironic. Right as we started saying we don't like Strike King crankbaits, what happens? The bill chips, because it was already cracked. But see, the thing is, a square bill is meant to bump into rocks and deflect off cover. But, Strike King refuses to make a good crankbait, but then they... The bill like this one. Yeah, like the, the computer board chip? Yeah. There's one. Is that a rock bass? It's a rock bass. Okay, my rolling, yes. Hank caught a rock bass. Now you get to see what he does with rock bass, because he hates them. First, you get them off your hook. Yep. If they don't take your worm. That's why he actually doesn't like them, because it took his worm one time. Oh, every time. His little pink worm. 
and then then you get a good release. There we go. And if you're worried about fish being dropped, just click the link in the top of the description. Hey Hank. Hey Dylan. Did we catch any more fish? Uh, I don't think so. Nope. So, where are we at now? We are at my neighbor, Dorothy's Pond. The infamous puddle. Yep. It's gotten a little more full though. A little though. deeper. Um, I'm gonna be going to Chesty. He doesn't have his GoPro because I have his stuff. I'm fixing it. Yeah. Um, it's whole ordeal. He's starting off with a little popping frog. I'm probably gonna start off with a wacky rig just to get the skunk off. Because I still have not caught a fish today. Yeah. That's how my day went. Okay, he's like stuck or something. I'm trying. Oh, I can I think I can flip him on this rock. Nope. <laughs> okay. I caught this bass and he was fighting good. He's not here, I'm pulling up to you. Oh, you're done fighting. Dude. It's a nice one. Ugh. Dang, dude. If you don't understand. Look, on a wacky rig, hey. look at the hook. Oh. Okay. Why don't we have a scale yet? Get it, get it, get it, get it. Here, bring it up here. Come on. Come on. Okay, we don't have a scale because we're goons. Okay, you unhook that for me for a minute. Okay. Dylan, what a stud. Look at this fish. That's at least a two and a half, three. Oh, that's a three all day. Three. That's heavy. Okay. It's so fat. It's gripper teeth are sharp. Okay, I thought it wasn't pinned that good, actually. It was, it was pinned. It was not getting off. Okay, I got it. Okay. This fish has been out of the water, out of the water long enough. We need to get a release. We're rolling. Get a release on her. Zoom in a little bit. Where do you feel? Fish. Okay. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. She's good. She's good to go. Baby. She good? Oh, she's gone, dude. She's gone. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh. First of all, first, first, first of all, Zoom. the bugs suck. Yeah, they're so bad. In case you didn't get that, my the bugs suck. <laughs> my heart's racing. Well, and I mean, okay, so to some people, like people in Texas, that's not a big fish. We live in Western North Carolina. And this is in a pond. In a this pond. is in a puddle. In a puddle. That's, if we're in a lake. Even if we were in a lake, that'd be a nice fish. <laughs> Honestly. But this is not quite a it's not quite a lake. <clears throat> Dude, Western North Carolina is so bad for bass fishing. Trout fishing is good, but... Unless you go to Dot's Pond. Yeah, unless you go to Dot's Pond. This is the infamous Dot's Pond. You'll be hearing more about this. I can't stop walking. Oh, I didn't even show you what I caught on that fish. Or, oh, yeah. Caught that fish on. Well, let's talk about this for a second. Wacky rip. If I can pick it up. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Wacky rig. Not the same color, because it kind of took my wacky, or my worm, but I'm not mad about that at all. You are really hyped. I know I'm hyped. Hey, look. Look what? Is that yours or mine? Yeah, that was my little frog in the dirt. Little oh, frog. God. Um. Wow, Dylan. Hank. Okay, I have to tell the story. It might be long and drawn out, but I have to tell the story. Hank has no confidence in a Senko whatsoever. Now I do. I mean, I did before. I used to not think a Senko would catch fish because I'd never caught fish. I'd never had luck with it. I'd never actually really seen people catch fish. And then you went to what, Bob? Yeah. It's a it's, lake. Um, it's okay. It's not a private lake. Very it unpressured. Matter. No one fishes. You see schools swimming around of two pounders just just chilling. I'm, I'm gonna um, actually bleep out the name of the lake because I've never heard this story before. But anyway, will you ever doubt a Cinco again? 